Good day everybody! Welcome back to the studio! Yes, I'm excited! I just got myself one of these geode molds um, which are kind of funky. So here we go. Let's use some of uh, La Rare's new liquid colours. So I've got Red Shiraz and I've got these are about 30 millilitres, so about an ounce. I'm going to pop in a couple of drops, or oh, three went in there. Um, stick. Small sticks. I actually have smaller sticks, but oh, look at that. So we wanna, I want to mix it really, really well. Beautiful, look at that. that three, so three drops went in there. If I want a deeper colour, I could go a little bit deeper, but let's see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. And I've got citron yellow. One, two, three drops going in there. Probably will need another drop. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I reckon I'll put another couple of drops in there. One, two, oh, three went in there. Just to deepen that colour a little bit, but it's quite transparent, which is kind of cool. And I've got my molten gold, and I've got another cup ready here to mix in another colour if I choose to. So the molten gold, look at it, it's solidified. Okay, so I can just scrape it off the top and use that. That's not going to be a problem. Actually, this is what I'm going to do. But if you don't want to do that, I'm going to put it in this cup here. You can just get your heat gun and heat it up top like that just give it a little bit of heat pull away a bit of heat and you'll soon see that that is starting to melt down a bit okay and you can see the difference but it doesn't bother me if it's a little bit solidified because as long as it's workable I'll use it so that's what I'm doing in here. Just got to make sure that it's mixed in properly. And uh, the amount that I took is quite enough. Let's see. Just give it a... Yeah, it needs an extra mix because it was solid. And look at that. Beautiful. So what I want to do is I want to get this and put it on the edges. So I want to have the gold on the edge and I think I might start with the gold actually just making sure that that's enough I'm just going to give it a bit of a wipe because I'm going to be dipping in there just give it a wipe and flip it to the other side and get a little bit more of that gold just about that much pop it in there And then give it a really nice stir. It's a little bit on a cooler side here. That's why these pastes kind of go a bit solid. But as long as you know that you can fix it, then that's a good thing, isn't it? Right, let's go. So I might need a pipette because if I can find one. Okay, so I can't find a pipette. Hold on, give me a second. So I found one that's been used and uh, a bit blocked, so I just snip the top of it and now suck it in there. I'm just going to go around and do the edges of this. Oh, I think I might need a little bit more of that gold. Lucky, I have some more resin. There you go, some more. Like if you've got a really steady hand, you can just uh, pour it, but I just like to be a little bit accurate, even though it's all gonna change, isn't it? Now, if you wanna, if you're a newbie and you wanna do these, 
that a really good person, actually a couple of people that you want to watch on YouTube, is Kathy Lapierre, um, as well as um, Naptime, Naptime, Naptime something. I should know, I watch it and I'm su subscribed to her, so I should really know what it's called. So nap time something, I will um, post a link in the description so that you can go straight to to her webs to her YouTube channel and uh, and watch and learn. I'm I've actually this is the first time I'm ever doing this using this kind of mold. Never done it before, so it's a first for me. But um, Uh, exciting to do something new isn't it it only arrived in the mail today so put this one down now I might start with my red Shiraz look at that just makes you want to pop open a wine bottle <laughs> I want to do this in the middle just like that and this one Ooh. Try not to go crazy with it. And because it's so transparent, I do want to put a little bit of that gold between. Actually, I might not do that. I might just leave it and just uh, let it gradually blend into my citron yellow. Try to gold it. Citron yellow. Is that one? Oh, how pretty is that? Bring it up a little bit. I don't really want it to be exactly even. Doesn't really worry me that it's not. I do have some more gold. Okay, let's go with the citrus. I might just actually add another couple of drops. So how many drops went in there? About nine all up? Very, very transparent, but that's what you want with these kind of coasters, transparent colors. So here we go, let's put a little bit over here. Oh, look at that. Lucky I have some more resin left so that I can, oh, this is so different. So that I can um, add another color if I want to. And there's certainly Quite a bit of room there for more okay so that's all of that going in there gosh what to do sorry about that uh, messages coming up thought I'd turn off the notifications but doesn't seem like it right so that's that one pop you in there Oh, how exciting is that? Anyway, let's go with more gold. Just get more gold in there. And I will get probably another colour. In a second. I love how they're blending nicely here. So when you apply this molten gold like this, it will actually sit on top. But if you try to pour it over the top of the, which I'll, I'll give it a go, they might sink a little bit. So let's see what happens. Get rid of some of that. See what happens when I put it over here. I just want a little blob there and a little blob there and a little one here. So there you go, it's sitting on top. And Julie, if you're watching, you can see that they are sort of sinking. Julie also has. Uh, a 
YouTube channel. I will post a link. But you can see how beautifully they are sort of the gold is sort of sitting on top and sinking at the same time as well as creating some really cool effects here with the red. That's pretty cool. Let's just, just pull it like that. There we go. Right, so that's all that gold left. And I've got a little bit more of the... Oh, wow, that's so cool. Right, but before I do anything, let me torch it a little bit. I'll heat gun it. Just to blow the bubbles. That's really cool there. So the, the gold has sunk, but I'm just looking at the top of it because it should sit on top. Right, what other color to add? Let's add something funky in there. Okay, so I think I want to add a turquoise blue. That should really funky it up. So let's go one, two. Let's see how transparent this is before I start adding more. Two drops going in there. It's quite transparent, but pretty pigmented. You got to test them. Just put a couple of drops in first, just to see. Look at that. I'm going to put another two in there. One, two. That's a turquoise blue. Transparent pigment. Really gorgeous. And here we go. This is going to be fun. I'm just going to go like this. Just... I'm going over my little dividers there, that's fine. I just want to make sure that I get it in a perfect kind of circle. And if it changes, it changes. Oh, well, wow. <laughs> that's really funky looking. That gold is amazing, the way it's sitting underneath there. Wowza. And I've used up all of this and I've still got lots of room that I can still do more. But at the moment, this is all that I'm doing with this. Where am I missing some gold? There we go. So what I want to do, I want to pull some of these veins. Oh wow, look at that. Sorry, just getting excited. And <laughs> look at that. Okay, so I've got to bring you closer before I do anything. Okay, so look at that. Don't they look like strawberries? Wow. So the molten gold has sunk in parts. That is so cool. I don't even want to touch that. And here, look at that. So that is actually underneath and, and part of it. The real shiny bit, that's underneath. And the uh, more dull kind of looking... Part of the gold is sitting on top. Oops, sorry about all the glare and all the. And look at that. I'm trying to. It just looks really awesome. Okay, let's get back to it now. Okay, oh. Got everything mucked up now. Alrighty, so let's go. I'm just going to pull some lines. That looks absolutely amazing. I want to touch it. So, but I do want to do something here. I'm just going to kind of, oops, don't touch the strawberry. Whatever you do, leave the strawberry alone. Let's go. Well, that turquoise has turned into a green and that's because of that citron yellow so be careful these um, pigments are transparent so they will uh, take on the color that you mix it with or put it next to but 
but I love that. I love doing things a little bit different. I don't like to sort of, I like to do artsy things, you know, fiddle with it and see what happens. Well, that looks pretty good. <laughs> My strawberries are going a bit wonky. Let's see if I can fix that. Just pull it out a little bit. Same with this one. Pull it out a bit, stretch it. Can you see that? Make them fatter. And they will pull in. Because the resin is moving, but at least it's giving me a little bit of shape. I like that. That's really awesome. Now, let's do something else. Let's go like this, see what happens. That's cool. Go through the gold now. I like that quite a bit. There's a lot of that yellow there, so I really want to sort of get rid of some of it. So what I'll do is do this. Mingle those together a bit. The yellow is nice, but it's going to be really see-through, really transparent rather. And this is a bit too much green there, so let's get rid of that. Just doing that. Wow, that is really pretty. I love it. Let's heat it up a little bit. So that got rid of the bubbles. I do what's in here? Oh, yuck. Okay, so that got rid of the bubbles. I'm going to leave it. I've got another three, two and a half millimeters, maybe three millimeters that I can fill, and I can do that um, again with another layer. And that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm just going to clean this a little bit, just because bubbles, these little resin bubbles, are hard to get rid of off of your silicon mold so I'm just helping myself now while it's still wet I can just do that wow so okay I can't wait till tomorrow to see what it looks like a few more bubbles that I want to pop if I can find my here it is Always look side, sideways a little bit to see if I've got any hairs or anything like that, which I do. I just saw it. Where did it go? Here it is. Come out, come out. Okay. I didn't use any white here. I didn't want to use any white. I just want this, wanted this to, to be funky like this. A little bit transparent and a little bit opaque. Wow, I, I really need to stop doing this, stop mucking around with it. Just fixing a few bits and pieces. Alrighty, see that? I'm going to have to try and stretch that again a little bit. My strawberries have gone a bit weird looking. But they really look like strawberries. How fun. So I might have to come back here again and do this a couple of times. That's only because I reheated it. 
That's really cool. Really, really cool. I just wonder if I put another drop of gold. See if, oh yes, look at that. Let me put another one here. See what happens. One, two, three, and four. And maybe another two here. So they're sinking in and creating that awesome design. Just a bit more. See if I get more strawberries. <laughs> it's probably going to push those strawberries in again. It is sinking in, but you got to put lots in there. That's pretty cool. And I've got more. I might go more somewhere. Maybe I'll just add some more gold here. Where the green is. I love these pipettes. They're so good, really handy. And you can cut them, use them again and again and again. Well, until you can't cut anymore, I suppose. Right, and then a little bit of this red left. What I might do is just put a drop of red there. Little drop here, right in the middle. creating a bit of a pattern, you know. See if that disappears. I love these transparents. They um they're really amazing. The colors are gorgeous. I mean, a bit more green. It's my green stick. Just trying to use up everything I've got, really. Um Look at this. Oh. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise I was still on. Isn't that cute? Making this one. Beautiful transparents. So, yeah, lots of them. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to leave this. Might just give it a little... Another little torch just to bust those bubbles, but I will be putting another coat of clear over the top of it, so it should be all right. Oh, look at that! That's sort of it, even made it look like a little you know, bottom of a strawberry. I did not expect that to happen at all. So, anywho, that's it from me for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned so you can see some close ups. Good day everybody, here we are, welcome back, it's the next day and uh, I managed to break a corner of this one earlier because I was too excited to see what it looks like and oh that's part of it too, that's part of that corner there so I just, anyway, the trick to these things, these kinds of moulds is to kind of loosen the these inside Bits. that's not loose yet so I'll just loosen it in here and then you won't get a crack like I did because I went like that to pull it out that came out and it bloody broke not happy not happy but it looks really cool I'll fix that because I want to put another layer anyway and put these little pieces back in there so look at that how cool is that it's still transparent that red oh my god okay let's go with this one I'll be real quick because I don't have a lot of battery left in my camera just be yeah wow what do you reckon look at that I really like that oh at the bottom of it you can see where I did those lines it kind of 
went to the bottom as well. I love, I, I wouldn't know which side to, actually that's really pretty, look at that. I will take some close-ups of that. And then here comes another one. Oh wow, the other side. Can you see that? Maybe I need to get something white underneath so you can actually see. Let me just get this. What is this? And I can see better now. Maybe. That's one side. That's another side. I love both sides. I don't know. It's hard to choose. So I think both. Oh, wow. I definitely the other side. That molten gold is just going crazy in there. Is that? That's that side. And there's that side. Right, so what I'm going to do is, these are all the same. So they all fit in nicely, which is great. They look cool. But I do need to fix that. So I really want to put a little bit of, just some clear. And hopefully not ruin it. So what I'm going to do is just mix up um, some clear resin, pop it in the bottom, then pop them in, and then pop some up top. So I've got a nice thick, it's not going to need a lot. The reason why I'm putting it in the bottom is because if I just pour it over the top, some of it might leak underneath and it won't be perfect. So yeah, that's what I've got to do. So what I'm going to do is just do that, and then I'll show you again what they look like but they're going to look the same except there's going to be another layer of thin layer of resin over the top of it but look at that can't wait to take the pics of these so you can all see beautiful i'm so happy all right let's get to it okay so just going through the some of the uh photos and explaining this is the top side um, and then comes the the bottom side, which is really different and, and really cool. But they both look amazing. I lost my strawberries, <laughs> which is a shame. So I'm going to have to try and figure out how to, you know, get them to stay. And that just in the light, so you can see that you can see through it and all the colors. That teal is amazing. I know it looks a little bit like green there. And it is. But that's just that green uh, mixed in with the citron. So it, it turned into, you know, it's a turquoise mixed in with the citron turned into a green. And uh, look at those effects just with uh, those swirls. A bit of a blurry peak here. Sorry about that. But you can sort of see that. Uh, oh, look at that turquoise blue and that gold. Oh, my goodness. Um, and there it is, um, just showing you the overall look with all those, that gold and uh, all the effects that you actually get. Look at that gold. Can you beat that? Seriously, I don't think any gold can do that. This is just an amazing gold. So you get it sort of sinking. It looks different on the other side and looks different again on the front side. Uh, and either way you look at it, it just gives you really beautiful effects. I think that was my favorite pick. Absolutely. And I just added a little bit of uh, holographic uh, glitter just to make it look a bit jazzy. And uh, that's it from me. Thanks for watching.